Hello guys and welcome to the final project on uh, XHTML and CSS and uh, in this project we will create a very simple website uh, static website using uh, everything that we learn in XHTML and CSS uh, I'm gonna show you the project already finished uh, this project is available for download in uh, at the end of the chapter of the XHTML and CSS chapter uh, I have it here already downloaded and if you open the index page with your browser this is what you'll get okay so as you can see uh, you have a very uh, nothing fancy very simple uh, website here um, with a few uh, links here to the about page and the contact page um, a home page with uh, uh, an image and uh, here are three little boxes um, and the copyright down here so very very simple uh, a little logo as well I'm gonna show you how to do all this and then you can if you want to you can still uh, expand your uh, website or uh, you can type here whatever you want as content of this website but I'm going to show you just the structure, how to create the structure of this website, as you see here. And also, you'll be able to change um, the image in here. You can change the logo. So as long as you create this structure, you'll be. Uh, it will be very easy for you to change all the things that are as a content in the page. Okay. Um, now, some of you may ask if this is. Um, this is suitable for iPhones and uh, iPads. Now we are using, we are still using XHTML and CSS in this chapter. Okay, so I don't know if you guys uh, already heard, but um, uh, iPads and iPhones uh, basically work with HTML5. So it's better suited to use HTML5 code to create websites for those devices. I'm going to show you and teach you all that in the HTML5 chapter, but in this chapter and in this final project, I'm going to use only XHTML and CSS. Now you can use, you can still see this website in uh, those devices, but it may cause some problems. Um, okay, so I don't guarantee that uh, this website will work either on, a, on an iPad or an iPhone because we are not using HTML5 yet. Okay, I'm gonna create um, basically the same uh, project that I'm creating here now in the HTML5 chapter. Okay, so basically what I'm gonna do in the HTML5 chapter final project is take this website that we already created in the with XHTML and transform it in, into HTML5 code. Um, so you'll be able to learn how to take a, a website, an old website with XHTML code and transform it into the new website in HTML5. Um, don't worry because it's something that it's very very simple as long as it's not a, a huge website but um, I'm gonna show you all that don't worry now the first thing you need to do here is download a little program that is the this program here which is this, which is called live CSS editor and it's an editor uh, that we will use throughout the the project and whenever it's pretty useful because whenever we type CSS here we'll see the changes uh, live in real time in the page okay so I'm gonna show you how to download that you just have to search it on Google pretty easy and this is the link okay just click it it's a Chrome add-on okay so um, just click add it to Chrome okay or add to Chrome sorry uh, just click there and it will self install in your Chrome browser if you're using Firefox or Internet Explorer, you have to find uh, on your own other um, other uh, live CSS editors. I think Firefox has Firebug. Firebug has a live CSS editor. Uh, I'm not sure, but um, 
I'm sure that Firefox has a lot of live CSS editors as well as uh, Internet Explorer 9. Um, but you can still always use the normal way of uh, refreshing the page and uh, putting code in your Notepad++ and refreshing again to see the changes. Now, uh, I'm going to take this out. The first thing we're going to do is create uh, a new folder. Let's call this project and start from zero. Now, the first thing is open Notepad++. Plus plus. Okay and create the first page or the main page so let's type HTML close HTML and here you can type uh, the head close head here you can type uh, the body close body and you can type here title and close title Okay. Um, let's save this. I'm gonna save this as. Um, let me see where's the project folder. Um, here it is. I'm gonna save this as index.html. Okay, which is going to be our main page. Now, in the title, you can type welcome. Okay. Now here at the top we need uh, the doc type declaration and to see the doc type declaration that we want to use you can go to the um, web3 schools um, it's an awesome website if you don't know it yet it's an awesome uh, website reference website to see everything you need um, as references or guides for um, anything to do with uh, web development. So in uh, here, learn HTML. You have down here HTML doc type, and here you have uh, the doc type declaration for HTML5. As you can see, is very very simple, very small but we are still using in this chapter XHTML 1.0 so I'm gonna use this copy this let's go to notepad and put it in here okay and save it now in here we want to type XML and S equals let me save this now in here type HTTP www w3 org 1999 and XHTML. Don't worry, you will learn uh, what this means in the XML chapter. Okay, this is some XML uh, features and properties that you'll learn there in that chapter. Don't worry and now next is right after title I'm going to type some meta tags. Meta tags are basically to give information to the search engine uh, sorry to the search engine like Google or Bing um, or Yahoo to uh, description of the website, the keywords of the website the author so it gives, this, um, it gives a description of what the website is all about so let's give the first meta name or the first meta tag that we need is the description now we type content and here we type the description of your company so um, this could be an online course school or something like that okay Now, I'm going to copy this because the next one is pretty similar. Instead of description, here we type keywords. And the keywords you can type, um, let's say in this case would be courses, uh, coma, 
you have to separate the keywords by a comma. Um, in here we type tutorials, uh, web development, okay, something like that. Uh, it's up to you to type your as many keywords as you want to describe your um, your website. Now another one is the author, so we have to type pretty much the same again. Gonna paste it in here instead of description is author and the content the author is uh, let's type you can type your name here if you want to and last not least uh, link to the CSS file the external CSS file that we don't we still have to create yet link rel style sheet and href equals to the file. The file is going to be called style.css type equals now text CSS and we are done. Okay. And um, that's basically it for for now for this video. I'm going to create in the next video the CSS file and we'll start doing uh, and creating the um, the divs okay and the sections the sections of uh, of the web page so see you guys in the next video bye oh and I almost forgot um, this line of code here that I'm going to paste now it's for the characterization of your website so as you can see here at the end is there is a char set equals to a code which is UTF-8 okay this stands for the characterization for English but if you're using Spanish or some other type of um, of language uh, as your content in your web page, you should use another code, which is the um, ISO and something I don't remember. But you can go to Google and search for uh, HTML char set, and you'll get all the codes for the different languages. Okay, um, and that's basically it. So see you guys in the next video. Bye.